Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Minecraft on the Rainbow Craft server. As you can see, I'm back where I left. Wow, um, left off, not laughed off. Um, yes, we now have laugh off. Laughed off? I don't know. Um, no, I'm <laughs> here where, where I last left off. Um, at the Water Temple. Oh, oh no, Sivy, don't. Yes, yeah, Sivy's on the server. She fell down a cliff, apparently. Um. Uh, be, uh, be careful, um, I hope you have feather falling, um, GG. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I'm back at the water temple is not because the raid didn't go well, <laughs> thanks Joda, indeed, yeah, Joda's the reason we've all been saying GG a lot lately, <laughs> and rip, but it's fun, I love it, so, it's all good, uh, but yeah, I'm back here because, uh, you know, the raid went well and everything, but I did mention last time that I needed a lot more iron, and I have noticed that, um, and by the way, I'm being an idiot, um, I didn't bring my Depth Strider boots or my good armor or a boat, but uh, luckily I planned ahead and left this boat here, totally because I planned ahead, um, but what I'm going to do here is hopefully not get shot up and killed by these guardians, uh, hopefully I'm going to go into um, a cave that's around here because... I noticed that, you know, when I was watching the video back, there was like a ravine down here, and, you know, that, oh yeah, yeah, see that? There's some lava flow in there. So I'm going to go down there. Uh oh, I'm being targeted. Please, no. Okay, good, he, he forgot about me. He didn't, he didn't mind what happened. Yeah, there's a zombie to stand in there, too, so that must not be entirely underwater. So I figured, hey, you know, that might be a really interesting cave to explore. So needless to say, I'm going to go explore it now. Um... I don't know how that zombie's standing. It definitely looks like there should be water here, unless it's like one of those things where it just didn't update properly. Yep, it's probably one of the things where it just didn't update prop. Oh my gosh, they're still shooting at me. Oh, that's this is scary. I don't like this cave already. My goodness. I mean, it's mainly because of the lava, and I don't want to get shot into it. Is that guardian flopping around? Yes, it is. There's a guardian flopping around in here now. What are you doing, guy? You're supposed to be in the... Oh, he's in the lava. Are, are you still immune to lava, or did they fix that? Yeah, they fixed that. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, friend. Um, can you still hurt me while... Yes, you can. Okay, so you're still a little bit scary. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess we go down that way. That's This is uh, quite the scary cave, though. Oh, look, a level up. Um, okay. Just kind of making this, uh... Okay, I'm not going to stand there, because it's probably bad to do that with um, these guardians the way they are. So I'm just going to dig a little staircase down to get down. Um, get down. Yeah, it's like a some kind of like 80s dance-off now, apparently. Um, am I being targeted? No, they're just all going into the lava, so that's kind of good. I have like a built-in guardian farm here. So yeah, you, you, you hear that, Joda and Zimby? I built one too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's this way amazing or and such. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I do need iron, so I'm going to grab some of that. I don't have any, like, Q&A type questions or anything, but you know what? That's fine. I, I don't need Q&A things to go caving. Just makes it a little bit more uh, lively, entertaining, gives me um, more versatile commentary, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't, and you know what? That's perfectly fine. And we have some gold. Not that I need much more of that. We got a ton of that last episode, but hey, I'll take it. Definitely. There's some redstone. I'm not going to bother with most of this stuff. Like, well, redstone I just don't really need in general, but I'm mainly in search of some iron here. Diamonds would be nice, but again, not a priority by any means. And I'm kind of thinking this cave might be quite small. I hope that's not the case. But yeah, I'm going to be here for well, the majority of the episode, and I do have some plans on, like, uh, talking points and things like that, so. It's not gonna oh my god <laughs> that is scary holy crap all the mobs up there no oh, get out of here okay they listen to me and okay, the skeletons I'm not too afraid of just if they have punch bows it's a little scary hey you're not supposed to be here look at this this is so cool <laughs> that is gonna be a fun uh, thumbnail or something maybe um, you know what? I think I will make that the thumbnail. Oh, oh gosh, when I'm not being killed. Alright, let's F1 this, because I think F1 thumbnails look pretty nice. Luckily I have a... Oh gosh, okay, yeah, I'm not F1ing anymore. Help. 
<laughs> there's too many guardians in here. Die. I, I want my thumbnail picture. Oh, there's some iron up there. Take this. Don't mind if I do. Again, I need every bit I can get, and they just seem to not be killing me, so I guess I'm not nearly as uh, scared as I... Or a little bit more scared than I have to be. That is pretty cool. Right, let's get one over here. Oh yeah, this one's better. Okay, um, I don't want him to uh, do that to me though, so I'm just gonna apparently just let him do that to me. Alright, let's go in here. I want to make a bridge across to that. Although that might be a little bit of a scary thing to do, so... Well, maybe I won't make a bridge. Maybe I'll just like dig behind the lava like this. That's eh, a lot safer. I prefer to do things a little bit safer. Because I don't like burning alive. I don't think many people do. This is going to be one weird cave to explore, let me tell you. Actually, you don't need me to tell you. There's going to be guardians just falling in from the ceiling. So, I'm guessing they can't spawn in here. But they definitely can, f you know, spawn above and then fall into here. Which is going to be quite weird. Not, I'm not used to that kind of stuff. Yeah, there's the temple thing right there. You can see some of the blocks of it um, in the walls here. Like right here. Really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm already happy I chose to explore this cave. And hey, I'm glad I watched my video back and, you know, thought of the idea for this. Because I'm like, hey, I need caving. And this is a pretty interesting cave. So uh, I, I I like it. I, I like. Ooh, there's a ravine here with lots of gold in it. That's quite nice. Again, the gold is great, but I, I'd much prefer iron at this point. I actually have quite a few gold blocks now because of that. Uh, that incident with the, um, you know, finding the treasure room. It's not really much of an incident, I guess. Or is it? Oh, wow, there's more gold. Look at all this. I mean, if this was UHC, I'd be perfect. Well, if this was UHC, I'd have a diamond pick with Silk Touch on it. That's already pretty freaking good. Although I don't think Silk Touch really does much for UHC, but it also has efficiency 4, which uh, makes things more efficient. So there's that, I suppose. Uh, I don't really need coal or anything. Like, that would be nice to have too, because I'm going to need to cook the iron, right? But yeah, it, it's not a big deal if I don't have it. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of uh, thorough exploration here. I'm just going to keep going and see where see where the cave takes me. Let's go with the flow, man. It's like the theme of the episode or something. And go with the flow and get that out of my inventory. Piece of garbage. All right, um, gravel's all right. It's not all garbage. Um... Interesting spot for a water source. Uh, there's iron there, but I also saw some back here, so I'm gonna grab this and hopefully get enough. Um, yeah, I'm just so interested in this cave, I forgot my talking points. No, I didn't forget them, but um, I haven't mentioned them yet. Uh, one of them I wanted to mention was Windows 10. Uh, as a lot of you know, or maybe all of you know, uh, has been released. Uh, again, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can get Windows 10 for free. You get a free upgrade for like a, a year if you reserve or whatever. I'm not sure if the reservation thing's over if you or if you can still get it for free. But, you know, if you can get it for free, I'd, I'd recommend it. Um, not that I'm recommending Windows 10 in particular, but, I'd you know, any free kind of operating system upgrade is pretty good. Especially since, you know, if you're used to Windows, you know, Windows costs a lot of money. A lot more money than it probably should. Uh, but you know what? There's probably some sort of reason for that. Like, Microsoft wants to make money. Which is perfectly fine. That's what they're in the business for. They're making money. Uh, but anyway, the reason why I brought up Windows 10 is because of reasons to upgrade or not to upgrade uh, to Windows 10. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> there's gravel there with some there's water above it. Unupdated, so I'm not going to update that gravel there. Although it would be fun would be very fun actually but um a reason thought i heard a creeper for some reason a reason uh not to upgrade uh or at least what i've been hearing is that there's a lot of uh security issues and privacy issues with windows 10 but then i've also heard that that's not true or it's just um it's not nearly as bad as people make it out to be and i don't know what to believe anymore at this point so i'm not sure but for me, one of the reasons to upgrade to Windows 10 is for um, the DirectX 12. Um, DirectX is something that is used by games to run, I believe, something like that. And um, DirectX 12 won't be supported on Windows 7 anymore. So, I mean, well, not that it ever was, but DirectX has been on Windows 7 up to 11, DirectX 11. 
And DirectX 12 is going to be uh, Windows 10, and I guess probably Windows 8, but, you know, I want, I want Windows 8, you know? So, mm, some iron right there. Can I? Yeah, there we go. All right, that's quite nice. Come on, go way faster. I got a cave to explore here. Not that I'm in really any hurry, but this is fun. I like this cave quite a lot, actually. Whoa, lag spike. Hello. All right, so I guess that just doesn't happen just in Langrel. I guess that happens here sometimes, too. Not sure why. I mean, I'm able to run everything. My frame rate... Oh, hello. There's a witch over there. Get wrecked. Let's see if it dropped a potion. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, sugar and gunpowder. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're sort of looping around back to the part with the temple. A little bit more. Kill you. Oh, I saw you sneaking up behind. You can't get me. Oh, look how much I just destroyed that guy. It's a guardian flop. Yeah, there's a guardian flopping around somewhere. Those things are really strange. Guardians, you hear that? You're strange. I'll put this on because I don't have a helmet. So anything is better than nothing. And I wonder if... um. Oh, wait, no, I already know the answer to this. I was going to say, I wonder if the things the Guardians hit you are considered projectiles, but they're not, so... Uh, projectile protection doesn't work against them, I think. I think it's just uh, regular protection, which is fine, because that's where I came from, so I guess let's go this way. Oh, so you know those glitchy air blocks that occur in oceans? Why, yes, I do. So, uh... Yes, I, I probably just... just yes, <laughs> But um, I'm guessing something funny or strange has happened with them, and I'm interested in hearing that, so um, stay tuned. Don't want to miss what Sivy has to say about the airbox. No, but seriously, I, I do want to find out, so I think that's potentially uh, going to be funny or cool. I do have over a stack of that. You can place boats in them! Holy crap, that's awesome! Uh, yeah, let's do like a yay sort of thing. <laughs> that, that is pretty cool. I, I might have to use that sometime. I mean, if I'm exploring this place. Um, I'm already lost, though, so this is not good. Okay, came in from that way. This is the way I went to uh, go to that ravine. I think I want to go explore the ravine a little bit more if I could find that. Is it down here? Probably. And sit. And sit boat. Do you float up? Because if you don't float up, that's kind of amazing. Because then you're like, oh, that's so cool. You're like in a little underwater ocean bubble. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't have to be in the ocean, but it's most likely in an ocean because those things don't usually occur in other places. Right, got some more coal here. Uh, more iron, more gold. I get so much gold from this. Um, if anyone on Rainbowcraft wants to trade gold or diamonds for iron, I would, uh, I would take you up on that. I really would. Even if it was like one-to-one, -one, I might actually take you up on that. Because I am just... Ooh, there's lapis up there. I'd like some of that, too. It's pretty nice stuff. Um, not necessary, but pretty nice. Okay, uh, the zombie over there. More iron. That's good to know. But I do want to go back for this gold in the lapis. And I got plenty of time to grab this gold. Before zombie face gets his face smashed with the sword. I don't think swords look like smashed faces. That's more like a mace, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they'll add, like, things like maces to, uh, Minecraft? Like, different types of weapons other than just, like, swords for melee? Um, you know, the combat update is coming out, so I wouldn't put it past them. And, um, you know, speaking of the combat update, um, there's another snapshot update out today at the time of this video going up, but, uh, I'm not gonna be making a video covering it just because, um, there's not a whole lot to really put into a video. Like, the changes are significant, don't get me wrong, but just the the thing is, they're not, like, video-worthy. Like, it's mainly just like, oh, look at this, you can see this. Um, uh, like, for example, like, the main change is that um, when you when you get to the menu to, like, open a world in single-player or whatever, or it might even do it in multiplayer, but I think it's just single-player, um, it will also display next to the world uh, what version the world was generated in. So that's kind of interesting, and it also can prevent you from accidentally opening one of your worlds in like a different version of Minecraft and ruining everything, so that could be kind of cool. Um, but other than that, um, there wasn't really a whole lot of changes, just like bug fixes and stuff, which are great and are much needed because, I mean, that snapshot was full of them, and, you know, reasonably so because, um, you know, it's 
it's a snapshot. It's not complete. They're working on it. There's a reason why they released it so that they can find sort like bugs and stuff. And, and that's a great way to do it too. Um, you know, if you're working on something and you want to find bugs, release it to people, have them play it and report the bugs to you because I mean, that's a lot of people that are bug testing for you unknowingly, or maybe not unknowingly necessarily, but also get stuck under them. Ooh. Uh, that doesn't sound very fun. Um, Oh well, not that I have much to worry about. I don't know why I'm digging around this lava pool like this. Um, sometimes you find pockets of iron around here, but you know, mostly the reason I do this is to find diamonds and apparently some lapis. Which, by the way, I really, really love that 3D effect on the lapis ore. Really cool. And speaking of the 3D texture pack, actually, um, it is uh, it supports the snapshots now. So. If you go to the whatever website it's at, uh, it, just go search on Planet Minecraft. Yeah, Planet Minecraft. Yes, I almost said Planet Minecraft. That'd be a, a whole new PMC. Uh, but yeah, if you go on Planet Minecraft uh, and search uh, default 3D texture pack, you'll find this. And you'll also find that um, you know it supports the snapshot, so that's pretty neat. I haven't seen what the snapshot looks like with it, but... It's pretty cool. I thought it was at least worth mentioning because, you know, I love this texture pack and I'm going to love it for a while. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be kind of cool to see where it goes with the snapshot and, you know, it'll pretty much... I mean, I can't really say this for sure, but it, it'll be more ready for 1.9 when 1.9 comes out than most resource packs would be. I don't think a lot of... I, I haven't seen a lot of resource packs be developed with, um, you know, with the snapshots like that, so that's kind of neat. And especially with so many like new blocks and new things that are in snapshots, um, yeah, it, it's just kind of cool. I just thought it was worth mentioning anyway. Uh, but yeah, no diamonds around here. Not that I was necessarily looking for them, and not really any um, iron around here as well. There's that one pocket, but you know, I'm probably just better off searching the rest of the cave for it. How are we doing on iron? Yeah, stack and a half. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, but. I'm not sure if that's going to be quite enough. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, there's uh, stuff up there that might be iron. Um, I do want to explore the rest of this ravine, though. I feel like I haven't explored it fully. So I will be attempting to do that. It's almost like... Okay, no. It wasn't a double ravine. It almost looked like a double ravine for some reason or another. Because there was like a cave there. It wasn't really a double ravine, though. It's just a regular ravine. Or maybe it is a double ravine, because I thought I went through ravine. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember, and it's not really that important, so I haven't been really paying attention to that. Well, you can still hear the sounds of the water temple, which is pretty neat. Um, actually, what are my game sounds on? I want to check that real quick. Why does it do this? There we go. Jeez, I'm probably going to have to turn up the sounds of the video a little bit. I don't know why it does that. Um, I haven't been on anything... You know, I haven't changed that myself. Maybe I actually have during the live stream. Okay, sorry, Minecraft. I accused you of uh, wrongdoing. And uh, really, it was me to blame. I only had myself to blame for that. I guess not a whole lot to this cave. I mean, there might be something up there in, like, different branches. Like, different cave branches that are near the top of the ravine. But honestly, it doesn't interest me too, too much. I guess there'd be iron in them, though, so it'll probably be worth checking them out. Let's let's go check them out. I'm going to go... Oh, wait a minute. Have I... Okay, I've been up here. Oh, yeah, that's how I got into the ravine in the first place. Right, okay. Uh, here, let's like, go dig across here, because we can make like a little bit of a bridge. There we go. Um, it would help if I didn't have this block above my head. And let's just see if there's any caves up here. It doesn't look like there is down that way. You know what? There... No, okay, that wasn't lava. That was, like, granite or something. Okay, so... Oh, there's iron up here, though, so, you know, it's a good thing we came up here. Um, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be caving for, or how thoroughly I'm going to cave. Like I said, it's probably not going to be too much, especially since I'm running out of torches anyway, but... Yeah, yeah I just wanted to get some iron, talk to you guys about some things that have been happening lately. Um, and hopefully you guys like that kind of stuff. I had some, like, other thing I wanted to mention, too, but I can't think of it. Okay, yeah, no more more cave branches, but there is some iron up there, so I'm gonna go 
grab me some of that. Thank you, thank you. This cave does have quite a bit of iron in here. Oh, that could have been bad, but it wasn't. That was fine. I don't have feather falling, so it's a little bit scary, and I mean, really starting to hear those noises. There's some more iron up there. How did I, how did I not notice this? Or maybe I did, and I just didn't get it yet. I don't, I don't know what's going on. What game am I playing? It's not Minecraft. Okay, almost two stacks. Yeah, that's really not that bad at all. There's more iron up here. What the heck? Okay, I know why I didn't see this stuff. It's because it came in through that way. Alright, so let's go on up here. Um, was there more cave branches, like, underneath the temple here? I could just, like, dig into the temple from here, which is really cool, but... I don't have those water-breathing potions, as you may have seen, and... And I do want to mention that these, um, ocean caves are generally a bit tougher than normal caves, or just caves in any, in any other biome, simply because not a whole lot of mobs can spawn in the ocean, so a lot of them are going to be spawning in the caves more often. Is this a dead end? Uh, no. Where's this go to? I've been here, though. There's torches. Ah, okay, yeah, I remember this place. Uh, there's gotta be something around here, right? Does that go? Where does this go? Ah, here we go. There's a darker, darker portion of the cave, and more iron, and some lava. Not a big fan of the lava, but... Hmm. You know what I can do, though? It's this. And that will make it so the lava won't hurt anyone ever again at the end. Except for maybe whoever accidentally steps on that. And there was a, there's a portion of the cave up here, so I am going to dig up into it. And not take my chances. Is this another ravine, or is this the same ravine? This is another mini ravine. Like, what kind of ravine is this? This is a really, really bad ravine. It tried to ravine, but it didn't ravine, is what basically happened here. And no, it doesn't. I thought there might be something out there. I'm hearing a bat. Maybe it goes this way. I'm hearing it, like, right next to me, though. I don't see a bat anywhere. I don't know, maybe... Oh, no, yeah, there is something in here. Okay. Um, hello, bat. Uh, you're free from your prison. Wow, that's, that's really bad. Come on, bat, come on out. Oh, actually, no, you might want to stay in there. There's some lava there, and you don't want to fly into that. And right, I'll check at the other end here and see if anything generated this way. Because this is, like, way too small to be a ravine, right? Apparently not. Apparently this is the right size for a ravine, according to Minecraft. Let's go a little bit this way, see if there's anything. I'll go a little bit the other way, see if there's anything. And if not, then I, you know, I guess I could stop caving, because I haven't caving for a little while now. Um, the episode's getting about the time I like it at, so... I, there is something really important that I want to do at the end of this episode, though, so definitely stay tuned for that. Definitely stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm going to see if I can... I'm not going to pause the recording until I get to safety, though, because this might be interesting, trying to escape from here. Um, and I could find... I could find my way out eventually, I think. Yeah, you know, it's just as long as you go up. Going upwards is generally a good thing to get out of caves. And, you know, I guess if it comes down to it, I get, like, super lost, which I don't anticipate, but definitely it's something that could still happen. Especially since we're going way more down than I wanted to. Um, hello, cave. Where's the temple? I want to go back to the temple, like, where it sticks through the... into the cave, but I, I don't know where that is. Welcome to Lost Black Ice. Where are we? I don't know. I should have brought a compass. Actually, that wouldn't really help. I should have just opened F3. That would have been a lot more helpful. Um, oh yeah, that's that weird gravel. So this is the way to the cave. So I, I took a wrong turn back where I thought I was going the right way. And I said going up was generally the best thing to do. And look, I was wrong because, look, this always goes up. It just didn't go immediately up. And I think we're getting to the portion. Yeah, here we are. And there was like, uh, it was like right back this way? No... Because I remember I had to dig... Yeah, there it is, where that spider is. Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Alright, so it's up here. I came from this way. There. Ooh, yeah, that was a scary portion with the lava in it. And this is where I have to somehow make my way up. Ooh, actually, I don't really want to make my... Oh, or do I? Can I? Is this not going to update it? No. Okay, perfect. Haha. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright. Hello, Guardians. I'm, I'm leaving you. Goodbye. 
I don't want to hurt you because, oh my gosh, oh, I might actually die here. I might actually die here. Get to the boat, get to the boat. Get to the boat, hurry. Uh, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Black Ice makes an epic escape from the water temple and is going the wrong way. His house is actually north of here, but he doesn't realize that until he finally opens up three and turns around. All right, so yeah, my house is this way. Oh my goodness, that was scary. <laughs> I thought I was like really gonna die. Did my armor break? No, it didn't. I actually have more armor than I had before. That was interesting. I didn't take much damage like that before, but I'm guessing that's just because there was more of them shooting at me over there. Really scary, so I'm gonna eat. Cause I, that's something I hadn't had. I wasn't fully fed. But yeah, this is a decent haul of iron. I mean, obviously not like a big serious caving thing that, um, you know, was meant to get stacks upon stacks of it. But, you know, I'm happy with what I got out of that. It was pretty good. Worked out quite nicely, actually. So um, I'm going to pause the recording here and I'm going to come back to you for a super special thing that I'm going to end the episode yeah, end the episode off with. There we go. The words, they're coming out of my mouth now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Ah, here we go. Nice freshly baked cake right out of the induction furnace. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a cake delivery to perform because it is my pal Zimby's birthday today. So we are going to go celebrate that and I'm going to go buy, um, I'm going to go buy the, the place where to put the cake, uh, which, um, I, I, I don't know yet. So <laughs> I'll be right back with you guys, but I just wanted, I like that little scene there. <laughs> Hey, a floating witherhead. All right, I'm finally back, and I believe there is a Sivy behind me. Hey, Sivy. <laughs> yeah, um, just before I was saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna record again. I noticed that I fell down a block, but uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here to uh, deliver the cake to Zimbi, and we are going to uh, put it over here in probably. Mm hmm what, what would be a good yeah it looks like I've been um oh don't don't place here uh let's see can I put in tree I was actually thinking to put it in a tree but um yeah uh apparently looks like there have been many many a cake here placed for Zippy so um very happy birthday I do declare this Zimby birthday island okay Yep, got it, got it. Not on the sand, only on grass and trees, and probably not water. We don't want to have a soggy cake here. And it's this chest, this is it. <laughs> Enjoy your cake, Island Zimby. Happy birthday from C, J, and R. Okay, um, uh, yes, indeed. This shall ever, oh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch the chest. I'm just looking. I don't open other people's presents. I, um, I just, uh, have I done that before? I don't think I've done that before. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to give Zimby a cake, and I'm going to place this cake in a very special place. I'm going to place it in this tree. Haha, -ha, there you go. How about that for a birthday cake? So yeah, um, anyway, that's going to do it for me for today. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this episode of Rainbow Craft, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day. Hey, me and Sivy are in underwater bubbles. Lameo.